But let me um, say how, what, a, what a pleasure it is to be here. And um, the cultural arts, it's my love and my passion. I just simply love it. Um, beyond helping old folks, now called mature folks, because we got kind of proper, and children, I love creative arts. I think we are the most unique people on earth. And that's why I'm so always proud to be Bahamian. So in everything I do, it's all about representing Bahamian. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine told me one day that um, it's interesting that I always stuck on this Bahamian thing and that we have to live in an international space. So I asked him the question, if I'm born in a particular space and a particular time, does that not make me unique? Because you know we're all special and unique, you know. Because when we were first created, there was 410 million sperms fighting to be Alicia. Hmm? Yeah. And guess who won? Me. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the uniqueness that I was born in the Bahamas, it's just so fabulous. So I know that I'm special just for being a Bahamian. And person may call that something else, but I don't care. Yeah, I like to keep it real. Yes. So that's my little introduction. So I'm happy to actually say that that uniqueness that I talked about, that is what grant writing is all about. If you don't have that, you're dead in the water. Absolutely dead. Because uniqueness is one of the top things that will attract anyone to you. And by you're trying to be someone else, no one cares. No one likes carbon copies. I'm so sorry. When you pretend, try to be someone else, trying to talk like someone else, trying to do like someone else, trying to shake like someone else, trying to be someone else, you ain't going to be nobody. You even didn't get to be the person you're trying to be like. Mm -hmm. You're just going to be a nobody. Because genuinely, the world requires your uniqueness. And even God decides. Even two of us even have the same fingerprint. And I have twins and quadruplets and all the wonderful stuff in my family. They're not alike. None of them. So when it comes to grant writing, that's the first thing you should know. Do not copy nobody. If you can be Bahamian, be Bahamian. If you can be Jamaican, be Jamaican. If you can be Trinidadian, be Trinidadian. Whatever you are, be that and be purely that. And you will attract everyone to you by just being you. Just imagine me trying to be my sister, for God's sakes. <laughs> what a terrible thing. Yes, but I'm going to give you an overview of my presentation. It's very simple and direct. Um, we've done this. When I say we, I have a couple of organizations that I'm about to and give them little props. Bahamian to Bahamian, that's our organization that deals with feeding those persons who are disabled, children, and the seniors. And then we have Bahamian Soul, that's all mine, all mine, all mine. I love them one the best. Hmm, because it speaks to who we are culturally. Um, the way we speak, the way we dress, what we do, how we say, the way we move, you see how I move my hand, all that is Bahamian. That's a part of your culture, that's who you are. Bahamian Soul is dedicated to that training, teaching, talking, letting people know that Bahamianists and Bahamianias exist. That's Bahamian Soul. And then, of course, we have, you know, food is my thing. So, island cuisine, that's all ours as well. And that's a part of our seeding project. So we incorporate all of those little things in terms of family and network, all, all of us in terms of my full family, we all engage in things that are related to us. So we're always trying to find funding because it's difficult in this environment. If you think about the handicapped persons, coming up those stairs was a challenge for me. It might not have been a challenge for you. And then I think on, hmm, my brothers and sisters without legs, without eyes, hmm, it's something else. So in the Bahamas, it's like an invisible kind of entity that exists. We see it. We'll become it because the likelihood of you being handicapped as long as you live, something will happen to you because you'll be handicapped. Sight, herring, mobility, something will happen. As you age, you just kind of lose some things. Now, if you're good enough, you'll keep those things. But that's another story. Back to funding. And we, we, we can connect everything as I go because your story is who you are, and that's what you are to present. So we run after funding. I mean, we run after it. And the thing that's very important as well, you need a very good writer. Writers are very key when it comes to funding because they sell your story. You hear what my friend said? There isn't really and truly interviews for most grants. There won't be an interview unless you interview yourself. You can because you're in the arts. Perhaps you can you know, put a little film feature in it, and that will be a part of selling your product, which is a perfect idea. Yes, it is absolutely perfect. 
because you get to talk. They get to see. You get to speak your passion, and then they see more creativity, and it's more, it's more alive. It's not it's static. The information you present is, is not dead and sitting on the paper. That's very important. But the thing I want to begin with for real, it's getting the money, because that's more important. I'm going to talk to vision. I'm going to talk to, about what is available, structure, your legal track, because that's very important, knowing your niche, your purpose, your passion, and your product. And writing, of course, because you have to be consistent and very, very progressive as it relates to that. That's very important. And then you have to reinvent. That's the last thing I will address. Reinvention is very key. Now, getting the money. On the, le on the local track, there's local funding, there's regional funding, and there's international funding. It's all up to you. Now, the thing with us as a people culturally, we really like to drag our feet in terms of writing, and in terms of identifying what is available, like what? I try to remember Therese's last name, a marriage name. But anyways, what Ms. Nixon said, yeah, I'm trying to be all nice and proper. What Therese said is very important. Those dates, those are key. They should be logged into your wonderful technology. They should be logged into your brain. Because if she says it's due one, they review twice, actually, during one year. So that means that right now is the time to begin writing. Because believe it or not, it takes a lot of reviews for one piece of thing you're submitting. And I tell you no lie, right? This thing here is a lot of work. I honestly think when I wrote firstly for this that I should have been paid as I was writing. You know, I get up 2 o'clock every morning, so that's my writing time. As I was writing, I said, my god, this is a $500 to $1,000 project just writing this thing. Someone should pay me for this. It's detailed, it's a, it requires a lot. It's time consuming, so you need time. You need the time, so get on top of things right away. But back to our, what, is lo what, what is locally available, that's very important. There, I'm, I'm gonna give you about five who you can make contact with, and Therese has already given you one, right? So we'll go with the easy one that we got. Kale Bahamas Care Foundation. Now the date that I'm gonna tell you is very important. They actually give you an opportunity four times a year to actually apply. You're looking at roughly from 3,000 to about, I would say 20, I'm not sure, but 20. She's supposed to get back to me today, but she didn't. So when, she, when you hear this, love, it's gonna be 20, yes. So about 3,000 to $20,000 you can get from them. And they are not difficult to write. It's a little tedious, but not as tedious as the ministry is. So I can tell you that much. So run, run, run. You have four occasions. The first quarter, that's the first occasion to apply. Deadline, it's March 4th. So we're in the month of, of February, the second week. You got a little time left. So March 4th is your first one. Then there is the second, June 13th. Then the third, September 12th. Then you're looking at the fourth, that's December. They haven't given the dates for that yet. So you're looking at December. Now, Caleb Bahamas Cares, um, it's very similar to the Ministry of Youth Sports and Culture's application. And we just simply, simply fill out the information. The key thing, as Therese would have addressed, you have, you have to know your vision, know your structure. That's very important. That, that goes throughout. So if you want to write one of them, you apply for one grant, use the same information. Now, remember the last thing I said we, we, we would present on is what? Reinvention. So when you're applying, you don't apply the same way over and over again. Each year, there should be a feature that you look at to actually Grab someone's attention. Like for us, you know what I like best. What do I like best? Seniors, children, and the disabled. We in. Why are we in? Because those are niches that the world loves. And don't be gay. The world loves that too. But the thing is this. Once you identify your niche, and especially if the world loves it at this time, that's something that attracts regional, international, and local funding. So you in. That's very important to be in. Consider that. Um, there's the Life at Key Grants. That one, too, is not as difficult as you would imagine. And guess what? Both of these, they're online. Kale Bahamas is as simple as calling and asking for them to email you a copy of the grant. But the grant is online anyways, so you can simply download and get that information. So once you click in in your search, Kale Bahamas Cares Foundation, you're in. They give you all the information. Same is applicable to... Life at Key, 
Foundation grants. Now, deadline for that one. Looking at February 15th. Hmm, what's the day's date? So you're too late on that one. Um, April 15th, so you're in for that. That's a deadline. And then there is September 15th. Now, this is the big boys. So you can definitely apply, and if you have a low budget film, as was discussed, up to $20,000, you're good, because they give from five to $20,000. So you can make application for that. And be mindful of what Amtoreas had, had said. You have to have multiple sources. Don't kid yourself. Because one year, if you're dependent on one, right? Hmm? And one year, they said, hmm, we've given them, what, this several times? Let's give someone else an opportunity. Out the door you go. Someone else is in. And you can think it's, it's, it's the devil, but it's really not. It's just the reality of life. Someone else has to have an opportunity. And you're not the only one applying. That's very important. But you know what's more important? To build relationships. Knowing the people you're applying to. Letting them know what your passion is. That's where we fall short. Like, we don't like talking about ourselves. We have a problem mentally as Bahamians because we don't like talking about ourselves. We don't like saying what it is we do. We don't like sharing and being positive and being. Sp when people see me come and I start talking, oh, some people see, look on their face, Jesus Christ, what's that one on? No, you're not on something. You're passionate about what you do. And if you're not, well, I know the different personalities in the world, but I'm sorry. Even those persons who are demure, withdrawn, and introverts, they too have passions. That's just the way we're created. So if you don't give yourself occasions to actually rub shoulders with these people, you're going to be out too. And, it's very, and I have to tell myself this over and over because I hate mingling. I don't like going out like that. I like being home with family and friends and being very happy with that. No, you cannot be that way. If you're interested in helping humanity, helping your culture, ensuring that you're visible, you have to get out there and mingle. So when they have those wonderful functions and events, it ain't about going and eating the food. Just taste some, sample, and then no wine. You're going conscious and alive, and you're talking to people. And you're telling them what you are passionate about. Just imagine me going somewhere and telling someone about Bahamian to Bahamian, how we go and clean houses. Literally, we clean homes for disabled people. That's why on Sunday, persons invite me to church. No, that's my church. I'm sorry. I, I'm already full. I'm a gussie spiritually, so I don't need to be in the, the four walls anymore. So church don't attract me anymore. God understands. But anyways, when I get to tell people about that, how we go into the homes and, and we clean, we go in the fridge, we go in the bathroom because they can't move around. And they truly need help. And that is what we do. A group of us, we go and we have our person that um, we adopt. We clean their homes. That's something that's awesome for them. When I didn't finish telling my people about that and then explain what we do and how some, some persons be living in school, when I didn't show my pictures, it over. I have it around my phone. Click, 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 let's look. Yeah, that's us. Boop. Your passion and your gift, like mine is gab, will make room for you. So that's very important. So rub shoulders, talk to these people, ensure that they know what it is you're about. And I know you're all passionate because the creative community is the most passionate community. We love what we do. We'll die for what we do. Like I tell people all the time, I've already died a million times because I know what I'm going to die for. I've already prepared myself several times. I know where death will come for me. I'm confident of it. I don't mind. It's a simple thing. I know. You should know too. That's very important. Okay. The em embassies in the Bahamas are very important. I'll tell you why. Every single one of them. The listing is on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs website. Every single one of them. They're here with reason. They want to impress you. They want to impress the world. Why can't you get their funds? Yes, you can. I'm telling you, you can. And they all are available to you. It's a matter of picking up the phone and saying, tell me a little bit about your application as it relates to funding. I'm doing project A, B, C, or D. They will advise you, direct you, and you begin the process. That's simple. There are over 20 of them here. And also they're in our phone book, books as well. So just pick up the phone and look, look at them. It inspires you just to see the names, the countries. <laughs> but of course, you know, our friendliest, it's, it will be the US. And they have a special grant there. They call cultural ex exchange. Now, we think the Bahamas is stingy. Well, the US only affords you up to 5,000 as well. Ain't that interesting? Yes, their cultural exchange grant is there for that am amount as well. Yeah, and then once again, it's about rubbing shoulders, 
Influence is key in all things. If you're not influential, and, and it's simple to be influential, you know. You just simply talk about what you love. Persons are attracted to persons who are doing things, and they, they feel the person is spirited enough to make sure they walk it on through. That's very important. So you can jump on that as well. And the other thing that you must always be aware of when it comes to the Bahamas, offshore banks. They're very important as it relates to grants and funding. Why? Tax. Mm. Of course, they give you half a million dollars. That's a big deal for them. That's a write-off. That's to them, ooh, free money to them because hmm, they get this back. So you have to think like that. That's very important for you to think. Just think along that line and run after every single one of them. They're right in your phone book. <laughs> run, run, run. And you know what's very important? I forget the Bahamian um, magazine. Man, all of them right there. You know that pretty one where it's have the pretty people, the shiny people on? Man, it's nice. It's well, well done. No, 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 not Elife. They're just the one that deals. No, man. No, no, no. No, it ain't got nothing to do that. It's all about business. All the business inside of it. Oh, yeah, yeah uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Them, yes. <laughs> all, okay, the thing with pursuing localized things and even international things, your newspaper is your friend too. You have to know what's going on because someone has got a grant that you can get to. There are many Bahamians all around the globe who have gotten grants internationally. We just don't know about it. And because we are so wonderfully in our little closets, I don't mean that in any particular way. We yeah. just, we just secretive. We don't like to share. Well, I, I like the good news, so I share all the good news I have. Everybody is known. So you just simply share and let persons know what is available. Many of us don't. That's why we don't know, but I'm gonna get to that international funding and name some names, drop some names, who have gotten wonderful grants internationally as well. But offshore banks are very key when, when it comes to funding. So pursue those as well, every single one of them. Because most of our banks are not inshore. We have one in two. Two inshore banks. I won't call names because they're not paying me. <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely not. Now, moving right along to regional grants that are available. There is this one called Compete Caribbean. You put that in your, your, your search and you're there. What's it called? Compete. Like competition, Compete Caribbean, yes. <sighs> the big boys, I love them. Up to five hundred thousand dollars. Awesome sauce. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, right? We're talking with steam and gas. That's the complete one. Yeah, complete Caribbean. Now, this one is interesting in that it's almost a year worth of process. You're looking at about six months of application. You have two two process to go through. So when you read through, they'll, they'll give you. The, in fact, they give you all the steps. There are three steps. Once you read through, you're there. And it isn't, it isn't as tedious because you know the money may come. And when you have hope, anything is possible and you just, you just tug on and write it out. And the thing about Compete Caribbean is that they give you um, training. So they will help you when, when you finish the first phase and you're in. The next phase is they, they are to help you with your business plan. And for many of us, that's where we're kind of shaky as relates to writing a business plan. The weakest part of our business plan is the financials. An accountant or a CPA should be doing this for you. You have family, friends, lovers, husbands, etc., who have this skill and this talent. Now, they are the most shady, secretive people I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> tap into them nonetheless. Like, they don't like to be in the open. They are there. They are right among us. We know them. Well, get her to write a business plan, please. Especially, not the whole thing, you know. Because they're not good with words. You need a creative writer to deal with the words. Let them deal with the numbers. There's a difference. And I have learned this. And people always think that I can write your whole business plan up wrong. I can't do it. Because I'm not going to get the numbers right. And it's too tedious and frustrating for my creative mind. It just ain't there. It doesn't work. So get someone like that to deal with that side of it. But, but Compete Caribbean, they afford you that. They, they give you someone to assist you with your business plan. Once it is creative enough to attract their attention, and that's easy for us because we are very, very creative. We have genius within us in this country. Okay, and now here's the other one, Link Caribbean. That's very simple. That's sponsored by the World Bank and Caribbean Export Launch. Yes, and that gives you capital. Once you click that on in there, Link Caribbean, 
everything flows. But you know what? Grant is so easy. And when you sign up for one, they keep sending you all the grants of the world. Really? Literally, this is no kidding. This is not a joke. They send you every single grant available to you. Once you put in your category and all the rest of that, every day you'll get updates. It becomes tedious and tiring after a while because it's like thousands of things, if you want to know, you go on through. For, well, we applied once for a gardening project, which was interesting. And after that, all the grants related to gardening projects just keep popping up. So once you apply once to one of these, the engines, they provide you with information consistently. So you're, you're in the loop consistently. So that's very important. Now we're jumping straight into the regional. Um, it's 813. OK. We're jumping into the regional aspect of funding. Now, this one is too easy for Bahamians and anyone in the region. We are part of every single organization in the world, literally. We pay money into every organization to be a part of them to a tune of millions of dollars per year, we are not getting our awards back. And our agencies are not affording us the opportunity to tap into them. Because once you travel abroad and you go to these wonderful seminars, you, your eyes become wide open as it relates to what is available internationally. They have millions of dollars in funding just saying, you're part of us, you can have this. Grant to the UN. Cultural grants are available to you. They have many of them. Then, of course, you're looking at the IDB. Where, what's that young man's name? I didn't write his name down. Okay, I'm going to send that too. I think it's Javon. Javon is at the IDB, and they have cultural grants. Now, as I said before, the writing will be a little bit tedious. You really have to know your structure and your stuff, your goals, your vision, your mission, your objective. You have to know who's doing what. You have to have accredited persons in terms of a CPA is always good to be in your team an accountant, someone who is certified, because right now standards of receiving money in any country, it, it has changed. Because they're thinking about laundry money, money, they're thinking about terrorists, even though we don't even, we don't know the definition of these words. But still, it's a challenge for the world, so those criteria are established for us to follow. We have to follow those, regardless. So it's important for you to have a good structure. Don't even think about creative people being a part of your organization. You have to have those persons who are skilled. You need a lawyer. You need an accountant. You need an advisor. Yes. Or a lawyer. It's easy to do research. It's nice to have a specialty, but once you would have done it twice or whatever, you're a specialist. Because it's the same process. In law, it's the same. It's just like teaching. Anyone who's taught. Why you know this? One lesson plan, you just rewrite that. <laughs> same thing with everything for law. It's just a rewrite. Interesting, fascinating time to know this in my life. It's awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so international funding, it's all about knowing. And once again, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will be willing and happy to give you a full listing of all the organizations that we're a part of. And guess what? You don't have to go to them. In your, your search, just identify international organizations and then put in Bahamas. We are part of everything. <laughs> However, we, we are truly not reaping the rewards from what is available. Even the UN, man, that cultural grant is so nice. You get up to $2,000. I'm thinking about Kid Island, right? You know, I was thinking about, about me. Yes, I'm very selfish, but I'm, I'm, I'm OK with that now. They have this grant, right? And we can get this grant. This grant where you can rebuild all, and I'm seeing it right now, the train tracks and the slave houses and all the wonderful um, ovens, them, what do they call again? They have a name for them. Dutch ovens, yes, Jesus, yes. Them, them, yes. You can rebuild all of those things. They give you funding for that. You only have to identify your island as a cultural island. And the cat is a cultural island. So you know, I be having dreams. I be dribbling when I dreaming, thinking about it. It's like eating a good piece of Johnny cake. My mother does it wonderfully. Yes, with some coconuts. Awesome. Yes, you can get funding for anything you want from the UN. As simple as that. It's all a matter of reading and researching. Now, to pay me to do research is going to be something else. It's like $500, but that's just an aside. For friends and family, I just do it for free. Research. It takes time. Yeah, to do research for all your grants. And mind you, it's not a bad idea. Find someone to do it for you and pay them. Because at the end of the day, if you can get... 
If you can get, right, if you can get $3 million, what is five? Yeah. Yeah. Quantify it. Quantify it. Quantify it. Yeah, it's so true. And that person, well, me, I just like information. So sitting down and just knowing it's like of God. Yes. Now, that's the juicy part. Now into the real part, vision. It must be established. A vision is not very long, so make it short and easy. Very short and easy. You should be able to articulate it with ease too. It can't be cumbersome where you have to think about it. You don't want to think about it because it's too long to remember. And then it should be visual, and you should go over it at each occasion you meet, just to sink in people's brain. And the reason why that is important, I realize, is that Bahamians forget why they come into meeting. That's why they stop coming. And this is not a joke. Again. Bahamians forget the reason they come to meetings. That is why they stop coming. An organization, a grouping began, you know, with such gusto. There's some, and I noticed personally, there's so many persons engaged and involved. But then after a while, you see the dwindling, the passion seemingly disappear. You know why? You have to keep that alive. You have to keep telling them why they're coming. What is the wonderful golden globe that they're reaching towards and reach with them? And then you all reach together for it. So reinvent your vision consistently. It is to be reviewed. It's not to be something that's stale, that sits there. I'm sorry. And many persons get taken aback by that. Like when you write something, it's stuck in stone. But when you make changes, remember the foundation. Because if you, if you remove stones and nobody know why they're there, it's a problem. You have just destroyed yourself. Because you don't know the reasoning for it being there. And when you move it, everything collapsed there. We, we have that consistently in this country. So your vision is very critical in terms of knowing who you are, what you are doing, who you want to reach, and why. But it has to be short, very concise. And no one could write your vision for you. People, oh, as a writer, people kind of want me to write their vision. I look at them and like, I never get back to them. <laughs> no, I'm serious. And I say this with ease. I never get, I am not to write your vision for you. You tell me what your vision is and I can refine the writing for you. I can make it concise. You give me um, a story and then I write your, what, six word vision and call it a day. That's the way it works. But you have to write your vision for you. That's very important in grant writing. You know, remember what we said? You can't feel the passion of someone on the page like that. So when they read it, they should be like, oh, interesting. Fabulous. I like this. Pause. Hmm. Put them on the side and the side and say, to be considered, as opposed to next. Now, in terms of your vision, it has to be a there has to be a consistency. It has to articulate. This is your objectives and your mission and aims and all the rest of that. It has to say exactly why? It has to outline. Like if I want to become the most dynamic, cultural, dynamic, international, culturally sound organization in the world. Because never say the Bahamas. Bahamas is not the world. In the world. So I have to say your objectives or your mission or your aim states how. How. Now if you can't say how, you, you hear what I say? most dynamic international cultural organization in the world. I have to say how I'm going to do this. There has to be stages. So you have to write that out, identify that. It's very important too. Okay, now on the legal track. There are, there are some fundamentals you must know. You're either a business, a nonprofit organization, a foundation, or an association. You decide. Well, for me, I like going with the easy route, and the route can get me what I need. Because you know you being on a long road by yourself, forever and not getting where you need to go. The key in life is simply identifying how things are done and identifying it very swiftly. I like foundations, I like associations, I like nonprofit organizations. I'm gonna make money in those things nonetheless because someone has to be paid. I don't care how you're not non for profit, your workers have to be paid. You, ha you need services done for you. So you can't think I never get any money if I have a nonprofit organization. You will get the money. And I, I know, I'm going to pause right there. Bahamians have this concept that every business they do, it has to be outside of themselves, as if you're not to be for profit. Are you serious? We, everybody is for profit. We have to live and survive. Your gift is supposed to make room for you. And if we ain't making room for you, you are not in the right gift. Accept it. Don't launch in it too long. Just, I need to find out what I got at because this one ain't making a room for me. Or I need to switch up. I need to talk to someone. That's very important. But 
your gift is supposed to make room for you. So it is about profit, no matter what person say. But structurally or legally, it's nice to have an association because an association affords you the comfort of getting international funding because you go, you go through a legal process. That's why you pay the lawyers the interesting box for $5,000 or maybe $2,300 or maybe 1000 But of course, you know it go. Yes. <laughs> so the reason why those organizations are attractive because they would have done the groundwork. They are what funding organizations are looking for because you have to have the structure. And if you are a foundation, you have to have about $20,000 on your account anyways consistently. You understand what I'm saying? If you are association, you have the, the setup. You have your, your directors. You have your board. You have all of the different persons. Because legally now, it's incumbent upon everyone who is an association or a foundation to follow some really strenuous uh, guidelines. So when your lawyer would have afford, afforded you setting yourself up structurally, man, you're good to go. That document itself is what you write from. Because you have to have the vision. You have to have the structure. You have to have all the little nuggets that the funding personnel they are looking for. So that's very important. Also, your citizenship grants you privilege. Ain't that awesome? Just to be who you are gives you privilege. To be a Bahamian, you, you are let into doors that many persons may not. Once again, I'll repeat, we are part of very different, diverse, interesting organizations around the world. You are privileged. Your citizenship gives you privilege. In fact, in terms of scholarships, and that's what you all need to pursue too. Get some free scholarships, man. They're just there, just waiting. Go abroad. Do what you got to do for free. They give you boarding. They give you, they give you money to spend, and they pay for your education. You just simply have to apply. All, all of the international um, um, funding spaces, they provide you with scholarships, just in case you're interested. That's important too for training. And anyways, if you want a workshop or something like that, that too, they afford you. In fact, they like giving you services in kind. You can bring in everyone from Jabim, all the experts come and do your workshop for you. And you plug in a few awesome Bahamians like myself, and you go. <laughs> yeah. You ask the funding, honestly, the money ain't gone nowhere. We may think the economy is down shady, but no, it's not. The money, money never leave the planet. I don't care what anyone says. It's right there waiting for you. It's just a matter of being creative and grabbing it for yourself. But you have to be very creative. OK. We already talked about practical vision, knowing your niche, purpose, passion, and product. If you're impassionate, you're go, going nowhere. If you don't know your product, you're dead in the water. And also, your purpose is the most important thing on the planet. As an organization, just redefine it. Ensure that it's there, it's visible. You, you know what I'm going to start doing for all of our orgs, and I already started for this year. I start bringing the paper with the vision, the mission, and the objectives every single meeting. And then, you know what I do? Because I'm normally in charge of the meetings, I read them. It gets them energized. And too bad if they don't hear it over and over again. They'll ask you, well, mother, because why do you think she got to do that? You're doing it to keep the persons inspired and motivated so they can remember why they come in and why we need to fight and why we need to move. You know, you got to show the world emotion. And if you're not passionate, you know, motion to be shown. If you're not waking up in the morning thinking and dribbling, oh, shoot, oh, we got this to do. Oh, awesome. I, I'm, just, I'm just, like, excited about this. There's a reason why you have that little thing in you to move and push you so the world can know what it is you're doing. Because if you're not passionate about it, why should I be? When we do our, found, our Pinewood Foundation, I'm so proud of that. <laughs> and we, we, we will then be in charge of distributing funding. And I already have the objective of $10 million for distribution for our projects in Pinewood. Look here. I ain't playing no games with nobody. Everybody know I already have a standard when it comes to doing work. And I really, really biggity. That too is very important. But the thing is this, right? If you don't have the confidence in your project and if you ain't structured properly, dog eat your lunch. I'm not interested. Next. And it's that simple. And if you don't have accountability, next. You know what accountability says? I have a CPA. I have an accountant. I have a lawyer. That's accountability because you're, answer you're answering to someone outside of the org. Creative people, we will spend every money we have on the simplest thing. Oh, I want, or me especially. I want to look this way. Um, um, you change that. A t-shirt? Oh, no, 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 no. We need the logo to look. I'll be on that for two months straight, spending all kind of money to get the logo right. Whereas an accountant would say, no, we're not doing this. We have a deadline, we have a budget, and we're sticking to it. And then I sit down and say, okay, thank you. Done. So accountability is very important when, when it comes to, 
your purpose. Now, writing. A writer is very important. Pay them if you don't have. But guess what? In your organization, you have writers. Everybody's writing screenplays and the rest of it. It's no difference from writing. Writing is writing is writing is writing. And as a writer, writing is writing is writing is writing. You practice enough, you become very good at what you do. Practice doesn't make perfect. It makes you better at what you're doing. At the end of the day, you've been writing for, for two years, three years, four years. You could sit down and write a proposal. You could sit down and fill out grant applications. You can write vision. You can write objectives. And you could train yourself. Oh, Lord, I forget about Yahoo and all, all the rest of them good stuff. They have tools available to you. You could, you could teach yourself. You could be your own instructor when it comes to learning about grant writing and everything else in between. So, and the last thing, reinvent. You cannot be stale. Like, think about it. Fry bread. I remember my Grammy, right? She had a pantry in the kitchen, just one room. And in the pantry, where, was, where she stuck all of the canned goods. And on top of the canned goods, she had a bread basket. She, she baked every week about, I would dare say, a dozen and a half loaf of bread. She had plenty of grandchildren, and they all needed to eat from her. And we just like eating from her, and her food tastes good. But besides that, when you take that bread, right, it tastes good by itself. But imagine some sweet milk, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine some butter or some peanut butter. Oh, Lord, it tastes far better. So reinvention is very important when it comes to presenting your meal to the world. Your vision, your objectives, your, your ideas, your structure, play with them. Look at other organizations. There are, there are thousands of organizations with your name. Fill them, something creative. You put it in there, you look at what it is they're doing, how it is they're doing what they're doing. Look at some of the creative things that they're doing, and you pattern yourself after that. And you reinvent, and you reinvent, and you tweak, and you tweak. That's very important. So. You go and get the money and be sure to reinvent, know who you are, your vision, have purpose, passion, and ensure that everyone knows what you're doing and why you're doing it every day. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.